when you're around a car that's this good looking, we must talk about the design. Now, if you look down the side of the car, you might notice the reduced lines, and that makes it look incredibly graceful. But also, this has enhanced its sporty and elegant coupe character. Let's talk about the front of the car. So we've got this stretched, elongated bonnet line with the two power domes that work their way down to this flat shark nose. And if we work our way a little bit further down, the first thing that hits you is the prominent diamond radiator grille, which is a signature feature of the AMG line. Speaking of AMG line, what you get is more defined front and rear aprons, these wider air channels and side sill panels. We also have this distinct GT rear end with a tear off edge, together with wide shoulders for a muscular look. You'll also notice these two piece tail lights. They're actually split and it's a functional purpose because when I open the boot, they come up with the boot, not encroaching on the boot space. Just easier to get bags in and out. So as a result, when you stand back from the car, this thing just looks awesome. And it really is a testament to the great engineering and importantly, aerodynamic work of the guys from Mercedes. In fact, it has resulted in a drag coefficient of just 0.23. Now that might not mean much to you guys, but in theory, if a cyclist were able to wear the skin of this CLA, he would in fact be able to ride even faster. Isn't that amazing? You might notice that the doors are in fact frameless. And this adds a sort of minimalistic aura to the car, just like any decent coupe should have.